Yo, what's up viewers? Tyler here of Chico Crypto, bringing you another episode of Crypto and unfortunately a water again. I'm still on my detox. Crystal Geyser water. I'm sure some of you guys have had this. If you have any water recommendations, definitely leave them in the comment. Mm -hmm. So that's crazy. So I've decided to look at some different platforms out there. And one that has really spiked my interest is the Waves platform. Waves is an open blockchain project designed for ease of use and mass adoption. Anyone can use Waves to launch, distribute, and trade their own crypto tokens. Not only is there this feature, but they are creating a comprehensive blockchain ecosystem that will provide all the features necessary for business adoption. The platform already has several powerful tools and services that set themselves apart from other crypto platforms. So let's begin by taking a look at the Waves wallet. The Waves wallet is compatible with all operating systems on a computer, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Another bonus is Waves already has a mobile wallet for both iOS and Android. The Waves wallet is highly accessible with a clean and very familiar user interface and experience. So to get a Waves wallet, go to wavesplatform.com. Then click on the online client beta. This will take you to the main page. Click on the blue get started button and it will ask you to create a new account. Choose an avatar out of the five available and name your account. Add a password that is long with digits and symbols that is easy to remember and then click the blue continue button. They will then ask you to back up the account with a secret phrase. Click back up now and a warning will pop up telling you to be careful with your backup phrase. Read it and take it all in and click the blue I understand button. A 15 word secret phrase will then show up and you can copy the phrase and save it on your computer. I recommend writing it down under a secure internet connection if you're ever going to be storing large amounts of crypto in the wallet. Once you have copied and saved it in a file or written it down accurately in the correct order on the screen, click the blue I've written it down button where you'll be taken to a screen where you need to confirm your backup phrase. Tap each word in the correct order and then click the blue confirm button near the bottom of the screen. So this will bring up the confirmation and review screen. Check each box so you understand the funds are securely held on this device, that if the app is moved to another device or deleted, the account can only be recovered by the backup phrase. And you also need to check if you'd like to improve the Waves platform by sending anonymous usage statistics to the devs. Once all of these are checked, click confirm and begin. You are now into the Waves online client wallet. First, let's take a look at the asset portion of the wallet. Here you can see the charts for Waves. Here is the chart for Bitcoin. And here is the chart for Ethereum. Below the charts are the wallets within Waves. And of course, you have the Waves wallet. You also have a Bitcoin wallet, Ethereum wallet, a US dollar wallet, a Euro wallet, a Zcash wallet, and finally a Bitcoin cash wallet. You can send from these wallets as well as receive, except for Waves, in which you can only send. Sending cryptocurrencies is pretty straightforward. By clicking on the crypto wallet of your choice, it will bring up the assets info. On the top is the chart of the volume. Below the chart of volume is three tabs you can click. Transactions, details, and balance. Transactions will show any in and out of the selected currency. The details tab shows the information of the wallet, including the issuer ID, name of the asset, type, issue date, and a description. The last tab is the balance, which shows you a graphical balance and a numerical value of your wallet's balance. Click send on one of the wallets, and the top bar is the currency and how much you hold in that wallet. Below is the recipient. Here is where you would type or paste the address of the recipient. Below that on the left is the amount in Bitcoin and on the right is the amount in USD. When sending, you can choose to fill in either or, 
and it will automatically fill in the other. Below the amount is the description where you can attach a message for your recipient. This is optional. Now let's click on deposit. Clicking on deposit of the selected asset will generate a new public address for that wallet. Remember to only send the selected asset in this example, Bitcoin, to the wallet address. Always look at what the minimum deposit amount is. If you send less than the minimum, you will lose that money or asset. Now let's take a look at fiat wallets that are incorporated within the Waves wallet. Yes, Waves has fiat deposits of both USD and Euros. Clicking the token shows you the asset info, including any transaction, the details of the asset wallet, and the balance of the asset wallet. Now let's take a look at the sending of fiat tokens. Clicking the send button will take you to the send screen. The top is the currency or asset type and the balance. Below is where you put the recipient's address. You can send any fiat token to another Waves wallet using their fiat token address. Below is the amount you would like to send in fiat. The last area is the description where you can leave another optional message. Moving on to the depositing of fiat. To deposit, click on deposit. This will bring up a pop-up. Waves does not accept international wire transfers from US citizens or US banks. So unfortunately, us in the US cannot use Waves for fiat. You can click here to see a list of eligible countries and IDs. Some of the eligible countries are China, Hong Kong, Denmark, Germany, Japan, Italy, Greece, France, Finland, Norway, Portugal, and many others. The first step to deposit US dollars from your account is through a SEPA transfer and you need to get verified through their partner, idnow.eu. Once verified there, you will receive an email with further instructions. The same steps apply for Euro deposits. The next portion of the wallet is your portfolio, which will have all of your assets together organized in an easily readable way. What's included is the asset name, the balance or number of tokens, the value in USD, and the 24 hour change in percentage. The next portion of your wallet is your transactions for all the assets within the wallet, and they will be shown in a chronological order. The final part of the wallet is leasing. Waves uses a leased proof of stake or LPOS, which allows Wave holders to profit by using their balances to secure the network while retaining full control of their funds. You can lease any sum from 0 0.002 waves to a million waves. Your funds remain in your wallet and you can cancel the lease and regain access to your waves at any time. To lease, you need to have waves in your account. Click on leasing and this will take you to the leasing homepage. Click the blue start lease button, which will pull up a pop-up. The first field is the balance of your waves tokens. The next field is the recipient. Here, you need to decide which node you want to support. To find the list of the top Waves nodes, you can go to dev.pywaves.org. Copy the address or generator of the node you would like to lease to. Go back to the Start Leasing pop-up and copy it into the recipient field. The final field you need to fill out is the amount of Waves you would like to lease. Input that amount in the last field, and the fee for a lease is only 0 .001 waves. Click the blue Start Lease button, and the lease begins. Let's now check out the Integrated Decentralized Exchange. To go to the exchange, click this icon on the left, and it will take you to the user interface of the Waves DEX. The list of trading pairs is on the left. The Waves DEX includes pairs for both Waves and Bitcoin. We will be using the Waves and Bitcoin trading pair for this example. In the middle, at the top, is the trading chart, as well as a pop-up that shows the lowest buy price and the highest sell price, as well as the spread between the two. You can move this pop-up anywhere on the screen. A really cool feature of the Waves DEX is the indicators that you can apply to the trading chart. To select the indicators, 
click this indicators button here and it will show you a list of the indicators you can apply to the trading charts including average true range, Bollinger Bands, historical volatility, moving average, and many many others. Click the indicator you would like to apply, click the X in the top right corner of the pop-up to close it, and the indicators will be automatically applied to the trading chart. Below the trading chart is the cell walls of both buy orders in green and sell orders in red. Moving on to the actual trading within the DEX. On the right hand side of the UI is the order book. To buy some coins, you would click a sell order, which can be recognized because it is red and at the top of the order book. Click on the sell order you would like to accept. The lowest price sell order is at the bottom of all sell orders. Click that order and a pop-up will appear. You can move this pop-up anywhere on the screen. The terms of the sell order will automatically be filled in for you, but you can manually type in the terms including the number of tokens and the price in Bitcoin per token. You can do the same thing for selling your tokens. Click on the buy order you would wish to sell to. Buy orders are recognizable by the green and the highest price buy order is usually at the top of all buy orders. Clicking that order a pop-up will appear again with the terms including the number of tokens in the buy order and the price in Bitcoin per token. Clicking place buy order or sell order will submit your trade. If you want to submit your own trade order that isn't within the order book, you would just click on one of the buy or sell orders and manually input the terms of your buy or sell. So below the cell walls, you can see an area called My Orders, which includes all of your orders within the DEX among all trading pairs. And that is the components of the Waves Wallet and the Waves Decentralized Exchange. I started using it a few days ago, and I am shocked by how smooth everything is within it. Definitely a hidden gem. Another tidbit about Waves is smart contracts are about to drop. The next revolution within the Waves platform is non-Turing complete smart contracts and Turing complete smart contracts. And they will happen in two stages. The first non-Turing complete smart contracts will be done through the ride programming language developed by Waves. This will be a lightweight implementation via smart assets and smart accounts. And this testnet is scheduled for release in spring of 2018. The second stage is the Turing Complete Smart Contracts through the Ride On language developed by Waves. This will allow complex processes on the blockchain according to ranges of different conditions. After the release of the non-Turing Complete in the spring of 2018, they will undergo extensive testing and feedback, and then the developers will implement the sophisticated logic of Turing Complete Smart Contracts. So the Waves platform already has a working DEX that has been around for I think almost a year and also smart contracts are about to drop and it will bring multiple features that the Waves platform needs and I think it's a great way that they're actually going first with non-Turing complete smart contracts since those are more secure um, as most of us know while Turing complete smart contracts take a lot more testing and a lot more time. So if you guys like the Waves platform, check out the decks, try it out, and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, viewers, I only drank one sip of this water, so I'm going to take another sip. Thanks for watching this episode of Crypto in a Water, and as always, I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.